I don't know what they say behind my back. <laughs> the bottom line is, I just laugh at it. I said, okay, here's this guy picking me up in the airport, telling me about his, his experience picking him, picking him up. And, Am I in the right car? <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, hey, how do I get out of this car? It's moving. Yeah. Right, 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 right. right. So, uh, but, you know, um, what's, what's happened, and, and again, um, Gary, over the last five years, I mean, um, the, the amount of people, the, the 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 movement of people who are going from, you know, total disbelievers to, you know, persons who say, hey, wait a minute, there's something to this. And um, and with all the information that's come out, I mean, you know, I mean, it's almost, uh, it's, it's a little odd to be kind of more or less on the socially acceptable ladder because this has been something that I've not been a particular, you know, I have been, you know, standing up on soapboxes all my life talking about, this um, whole thing. I mean, I've been connected to it, known all of, a lot of the players, uh, you know, as far as, um, you know, the, the, the people, you know, they've gone through, knew all the old timers, but it wasn't something, it wasn't my deal. In fact, and, and, and my uncle had this huge, he called this, um, they called it the, uh, 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 Ministry of Universal Wisdom. That was one of his nonprofits that he had. Anyways, it was it was kind of bordered on like bordered on like a cult thing, you know, and 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 uh, it's almost like a UFO cult. And he had all, he had over you know, he had thousands and thousands of supporters all over the, all over the world. A lot of money coming in, et cetera, et cetera. Well, I remember in 1998, um, Holtz, uh, they the some of the people in that were part of his group wanted to resurrect the ministry to get. The information about you know, extraterrestrials and all that. Well, I was running mining companies. Uh, you know, I was traveling to Europe, uh, you know, Central America, Japan, you name it. I was, I was, you know, I was doing it. So they 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 called me up and said, "Would you please talk to us about maybe you know resurrecting this thing?" And I said, "Well, you know, I'm not interested in that because I don't want to be." involved in any kind of cult <laughs> and then he just, i also had an, a lot of economic uh, uh incentive not to do yeah, this I, thing I, I, yeah, I, know, I mean yeah. Right, yeah, right 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 and and i just didn't want to i didn't want to make myself a target and but anyways i went there and i the strangest it was one of the strangest meetings i had with these people um they were mo- they were all elderly women in san diego and there was this uh, other guy uh who was uh, kind of just a very odd, and they kept on looking at me, and and they were talking, <laughs> they were talking like I wasn't there. <laughs> that was the other thing, too, it drove me crazy. They, were, yeah. they say, "Well, he looks a lot like George," and I and I go, "Wait a minute, I'm, I'm here. I, I don't really look like George." <laughs> I'm going, and they, and they go, you know, uh, and they go, well, you know, it's it's really an important thing that you do this. And I said, "Well, this is not my style." I said, "You know, listen, I I I can give you some money." You know, I said, I you know anything anything that has with my uncle, I'm you know I'm I'm on board. I want to support you, et cetera, et cetera. I said, but this is really not something that I want to be involved with, you know, on that level because it's kind of you guys sound a little bit like a religion, and I don't want to do that, you know, as far as that. And, and they kept on they kept on at they kept at me for about two months, but I finally respectfully said no. Uh-huh. Well, I, I who you know who you know I mean, um, and my tact with all of this thing has been not to create any kind of, uh, and, I, and also too, it's kind of scared me a little bit too, was it was San Diego. And, and I think it was a few years before that was a, the hell bop thing where they had the, those guys, the steer, they, they, they all killed themselves. I don't know. I don't know if you remember that whole oh, hell yeah. bop thing. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, I, and I'm thinking, you know, what, what, you know, it made me a little nervous. I was actually, I was really glad to get back on the plane and uh, get out of San Diego at the time. But, <laughs> but uh, anyways, but uh, but but I, I always thought, okay, listen, why can't reasonable people, you know, without any kind of um, you know uh, messing anything up with religion or any of that stuff, which um, you know, although although I you know I do get it that that uh, especially you know ufology really its history is in you know it is biblically and 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 all of civilization you know since we were seated. With all this, it does have a religious overtone, and I think it has to do with people not being able to explain, you know, the phenomenon. I think that I think that you know when you talk about Ezekiel's wheel and you know parting the Red Sea and manna from heaven and all these various different things, 
you know, that really sound angelic, I think that they're really trying to explain, um, you know, extraterrestrial or watcher phenomena. I think it's, it's, it's different. I think that, that, you know, and so what religion did was they extrapolated all of this, uh, you know, biblical information into religion versus, you know, uh, extraterrestrials or ETs. And uh, that's been my it's been my tact on it. So so it, again, controlling the narrative, um, which is what um, uh, you know that which is what our government's doing right now. And, uh, and you know that's been the been going on since the beginning of time is controlling the narrative of the story. And uh, you know, and uh, I mean, for all we know, I mean, God, you know, and I know this sounds, uh, you know, uh, oh, I don't know, uh, sacrilegious. Jesus could have been, could have well been um, an extra, I mean, I could accept the point where he could have been, um, you know, some sort of extraterrestrial, you know, coming from a different time, space, dimension, oh, trying to help. Very good possibility. You know. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, um, think about all the miracles that he was able to do and, and all the information and knowledge that he had to, to do it in, and, uh, and the whole mindset of, you know, non-Martian or non um uh, military, uh, uh, you know, militaristic, you know, conflict, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, um, and actually, that it, it, it's something kind of other, out of the world, out of this world, uh, otherworldly. So, you know, the philosophy. And the same thing with a lot of the, uh, you know, very the ancient, uh, if you're the ancient Vedic texts and things like that. There's there's some really great stuff that just doesn't seem. That was so contrary to what was going on as far as all the violence and all that stuff. So, yeah. I, so, I, so but I, I digress. But, I, but again, I mean, I, again, you know, I don't know the difference between an, ang, uh, an angel or an angle. <laughs> you know, what it was. I don't either. I, I really don't. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, uh, so, so that's what I've kind of been, uh, been thinking about. But, but yeah, but this whole thing is going on. It's very subtle. And, um, although I'm a little bit, um, uh, I, I do feel that there is definitely a war when I talk about this thing or this whole uh, UFO disclosure. I think there's th- there's definitely a war going on. I mean, I think it uh, you know there's this 3D versus this fourth dimension or fifth dimension higher consciousness, which which if you really thought about it, if we literally had um, if, you know you know uh, say for instance we had our leaders who were literally um, you know um, not so caught up in the uh, you know scarcity principle, and you know carrying on you know to this one percent. I think there's enough resources to take care of everybody on the face of the planet. But these divisions are created through these various entities. Uh-huh. God knows where they come from. Um, well, it's uh, yeah. Do you you know I, I you hear things ever so often. You know, uh, people will say that there is. Uh, a, instead of the Air Force, actually a Space Force, and and that we've been involved with uh, aliens, uh, and there is a war going on out there, and things like that. Have have you ever uh, talked to anybody that has been abducted, or when you've been abducted, have they ever talked about that uh, something major is going on outside of our our planet and our solar system? Yeah, there, there, there seems to be there. I, um, I have talked to people, and that was one of the things that they brought back that there was this um, conflict that that really that there is this war in the heavens, and that there's always has been of this, and they in fact um, are almost conducting it as like as it, just like something out of an Avatar movie, where literally, I mean, they they are uh, doing um, you know. Um, step-ins and walkthroughs and things like that with people using them as, as avatars in their battle. And I think that there's something to be said for that. It's almost scary, especially in this country, the amount of people that are incarcerated and, um, and people that have done really stupid things that they simply, um, you know, just had no, or being at the wrong place at the wrong time, um, uh, especially here in this country. I mean, there seems to be a great um, glee in, in incarcerating um, the masses. And uh, there seems to be the, these things like uh, I've often heard of, of you know, various people that have done deplorable things that they literally were, you know, t- you know taken, uh, taken over, you know, mind control, things like that. And, and uh, I, I think what the focus and the reason behind it 
is to uh, is to sway an agenda. Like, for instance, as an example, when I think about this, you know, gun control. First of all, you know, I I uh, I've sold all my guns. I don't ha- I don't have any guns. I used to have all kinds of guns. I, I finally I decided I, you know, I'm not gonna I, you know I'm I'm not gonna shoot anybody. You know, as far as that. Um, although you know, and and uh, I have as far as hunting or any of that stuff, I haven't done that in years, so it's just a waste of time for me to have them. And uh, so I, you know, my whole philosophy, my personal philosophy, is I'd rather give up my life than take one. You know, as far as that goes, that's just my own thing. I've come to the conclusion as far as in my age and and the whole thing. Now, but again, um, every country that ever has been taken over, what? What's the first thing they do? They generally have gun control. They generally take away all the, you know, the the, uh, the defense mechanisms as far as this. Well, they're swayed by, you know, by this uh, uh, political uh, political, you know, uh, gamemanship as far as that goes. And and uh, you know, again, well, you know, guns you know, don't too. kill people. Yeah, but yeah. you know, if they take the guns away from the people, uh, like they did, like in Germany and uh, you know, a lot of the countries. In the past, they, they they do it for one reason. One is, if you don't have weapons, how are you going to, def- uh, uh, how can you say it, protest against a, go- a government and, and physically try to take it over? Uh, it, it makes it a lot harder to say, hey, I'm going to, you know, uh, do something about how the government is treating us if you have no way to, you know. And, and then on top of it, if they decide they want to do anything with the, the mass of the, the, the people, uh, they have nothing to defend themselves with. That's right. And again, you know, the other thing, too, and this is what's going on, too, um, which we're seeing with all the you know various fake news on both sides. I mean, we, you know, there is there is a um, I mean, there is an info war going on. You know, apparently, I mean, it, it's clearly obvious and both and, and, and both are wrong for, you know, messing around with the truth, because essentially what now is that who are you going to believe as far as when you listen to any kind of, you know, local news or whatever, you're, 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 I don't care who you are. You're not going to look at it the same way you did 20 years ago, which is probably bastardized. But that's, that's too. what they want. But, what better propaganda? That's what they want. They, they get to where you don't believe anything. You don't believe what they right. say and you don't believe what they say. So they, everybody's going to get right. the opinion. Everything in the news is fake. Even if it's true, it's fake. So, I mean, but the government wants you to believe them, and they actually want you to believe virtually anything you flip on any uh, network is fake. Right, right. And that scares me, because that's that's, that's, that's like, eventually, it's leading up to doing some control. Something is going to happen eventually, and that's the first thing you do. First you do is you create... Everything is fake. Don't believe anything but what right. we tell you. Okay. Then next will be taking your guns away from you. And then it's going to be, hey, maybe you need a chip in you. Uh, it'll be easier for you when you go to the uh, store. You don't have to use credit cards. You don't have to use cash. You just have this chip implanted. So, I mean, all, these things, all these things are slowly leading up. And I'm wondering, my feeling, it could be attached to something with aliens and and. In our government, it could be insidious. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah. That's yeah, scary. Um, that is so well, scary. Actually, it, it really is. It's it's so the sci it's so sci fi. It's just literally uh, out of this world. But you know, uh, there's two things. Number one, the the um, you know microchip. I mean, one one thing that, as far as getting the patent law and all that stuff. You know, I, I know there's one story about you know how the microchip was you know was uh, was delivered. Well, it, it, it sounds very very quirky. Um, uh, you know, as far as how they did it. The other thing was fiber optics, which, you know, again, you know, all this advanced technology. I mean, I, I would, you know, I've, I've looked at this stuff and, and it falls off and it's almost like some, somehow this was given, you know, and, and, and essentially, you know, kind of shared technology, um, that has come up and it's really going to come back to bite us in the, in the ass. I mean, it, you know, um, and, and Lennon said it best. Another thing too is the media, it, which, you know, again, um, that this has been going on, um, public opinion. They're, they're they're saying now that the Central Intelligence Agency has, has been involved in Hollywood and getting you know as far as in the people's minds, as far as through movies and through TV programs, et cetera, et cetera. Well, I see it. I mean, I you know I actually see it 
Um, they do things like, uh, for instance, the Men in Black series, which was a cartoon, which, uh, which actually a lot of if you.